welcome to Food Tales. I'm Trinity. And I'm Bo. And today we'll be making some Spam Hot Cheetos. Yay! So I'm going to cut up the Spam, this half a can of Spam here. It's hot and spicy Spam to match the um, Hot Cheetos. And uh, Bo is just going to crush up the Cheetos. Yeah. Ugh. God, I don't know how much to smash up. I don't want to like waste any because it's so precious because we can't really get these. It's okay. We we'll we can just scrape off the pops. Oh uh, yeah. We we'll just not the rest of what I'm I haven't used. Okay, how much spam do we have? Uh, I'll just I'll just do the smash first. So I want to cut spam up. The, I think just under a centimeter per slice. Don't want to make them too thick. Don't want to make them too thin. It's so slimy. I'm just gonna wrap the spam. Is so easy to cut. It's actually fun. It just slides through. You know, spam kind of reminds me of dog food, but it tastes so good. Why? Because it's because because it, it smells so bad. <laughs> it's like it smells like dog food. It's, it tastes so good. What yeah, are you it using? It does smell like dog food. What are you using? Um, I couldn't find my rolling pin, so I've, I've got like. Some sauce plates or some shit, you know, the side plates. <laughs> okay, I got like a Asian bowl with an egg. I'm gonna crack the egg into the bowl. Yeah, that does smell like dog food. Spam smells like dog food. Look what a clean, clean, clean egg that is. Oh, that is. It's, it's such a beautiful egg. Look, the egg yolk is still intact, guys. Oh, can't really see it. Anyways, I'm just gonna beat up this egg and put the spam in there. A lot of um, viewers ask why our eggs are orange. Oh, that's because in Australia we feed our eggs um, grain. Grain? Yeah, grain. Instead of corn. Because in Australia, uh, in America, I think they have an excess of corn, so they try to just stuff it in anything. Oh, true. But uh, in Australia, we feed out our hens. Um, uh, a grain, so um, the yolk is different. Does it taste different? Do you know? Uh, I'm not sure actually. Alright, are you ready for the dredging? I don't think that's enough. Y yeah, well, we'll just. Holy shit, they're big slices. Okay, well, well, I guess I'll have to do. Milk. That's probably enough for like two. Oh, okay. Well, I couldn't fit much more in the. Well, we'll just do two the and then we'll just buy the rest of the spam because it's too precious, man. Okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna dredge it in some. Egg. Alright, are you ready to get your hands in dirty? Go on. Okay. Some hot Cheeto covered spam, guys. The mm. miracle. <laughs> it's like your caveman. <laughs> well, I, I don't know if anyone's done this before. I don't think they have. What, what, what hot Cheeto covered spam? Yeah. Okay, that was enough for one. <laughs> How many should we do then? Uh, we'll do another one. Okay. We'll do another one and then we'll just fry up the rest. Cause so, here's our, our spam baby. Someone please tell me how much Cheetos are in America. <laughs> yeah. Hot Cheetos that is. So, we'll do another one. Hold on, I need to smash them all there. Oh, at least. Okay, I'm just hold. Oh, maybe I can do it with my hands, I don't know. I would do it with my hands. When you eat Cheetos anyways, your hands get all yellow and stuff. <laughs> Normal Cheetos. Especially gamers. I, I don't think, like, I play games, I should play games, but I don't think I would eat Cheetos playing games. Like, I would. I just, would. Really? Yeah, I do. I think I would care too much about my keyboard and stuff. <laughs> I know, you bitch. Trinity has got my keyboard and it looks like fucking shit. <laughs> oh my god. I'll just fry up this egg and then eat it. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we can throw some um, whatever's left into the egg and make an omelette. <laughs> that is true. You are very smart. Yes. 
Put hot cheetos and everything. Hold on. What if it's like this? This like the best shit that then we've we created. We somehow have to find more hot cheetos. No, no, no. We're gonna open a restaurant selling hot cheetos, spam. Yep. Three dollars per slice. <laughs> Five for two guys. <laughs> Well, it depends on how much we can get our Cheetos for. Well, Cheetos is so expensive. I know. Five dollars. It's like a hundred grams for five dollars. That's, that's crazy. Oh, that's wow. fifty dollars a kilo. Hey, look at her hands. Look at her hands. So oh my orange. god! Look. Are <laughs> right, you ready? Yeah. Hold on. Go on. She's doing some artistic um, <laughs> stuff right now. You, you gotta let, let the caveman work at <laughs> her pace. She's, 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 she's making, she's prepping dinner <laughs> for, the, for the family, the, the, the group. What's it? The clan? <laughs> what did they even call it? The pack. The pack. Yeah, the pack. Oh, this ain't sticking as well as the first one. Yeah, because he's the one probably more smashed. And hey, you know what this reminds me of? Do you, do you know um I'll see it. You can hear you you can hear in this Oh yeah 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 uh, the Shogiki? Yeah yeah. Yeah, like when he made that fried fish and he used chips as batter. Uh, you guys know what I'm talking I've about. Seen that one. It's because I've been watching I, I watch a lot of anime, so yeah, if you watch Shogeki no Soma or something, you know what I'm talking about. It's a cooking anime. Cooking academy anime. Yeah. Okay, that's the second one. Ah. We got two precious. Alright, let's chuck this. Ones. Chuck this in the egg. Oh, it's just be soggy. You think? We should have chucked it when we were cooking the omelette. You think? Yeah. It'll flavor the egg though. Okay, whatever. Then. Oh, do you want to put this in last? We'll put that in later. Okay, don't okay. worry. This will flavor the egg and then we have some crunchy And bits. we'll sprinkle this over. Yeah, okay. The okay. pops of, of... I can't... I don't, there's more egg on it. Yeah. Alright, oh, we're gonna move to the kitchen. We're gonna fry up those babies <laughs> and fry up these and the egg. Let's go. So, we're putting some oil in. Fry up them. So we're just going to cook the egg now. Mm -hmm. Get that one. <laughs> you know, it's been Get a spoon. Oh, it's the side track. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look how puffy it is. It's mm. the oil. Oh, Deep fried egg is the best way to have your eggs. <laughs> Don't need to flip it now. No. I think it's doing quite well. It's, it's really good. airy, actually. Yeah. The fact that deep fried egg is pretty much the best way to have it. You get like that crispy out of it. And then like the inside is still a little bit moist.
just finished cooking the spam yeah. covered Cheetos and um, just fried normal spam and the the, the egg looks were good because it was fried in deep fried. Yeah, we deep fried it. Deep, <laughs> deep fried Cheeto, hot Cheeto omelet. Yeah, and we sprinkled um, some of the crumbs on top. Yeah, and I just uh, put some sauces out, put some mayonnaise. You know a teaspoon of mayonnaise is 120 calories. Oh, fuck, man. And then tomato sauce mm -hmm. uh, or ketchup. And this is Korean paste, oh. soybean paste with um, some raw onions. So, cool. so, yeah. Okay, um, I think it turned out crunchy, right? Yeah. So it's like a little batter, deep fried spam. Can you hear that? Yeah. I'll just grab this whole thing. Okay, I'm gonna just bite it normally, see how it tastes like. Mmm. Mmm, it's like spam, and then it's like crunchy coating outside. I think this will go well with the mayonnaise. Hey, you can taste a bit of the spice. I'll try some ketchup. You know, the mayonnaise definitely. Oh, uh, it just tastes like sausage meat now. Yeah. <laughs> got some rice here too, so. Mm. This is really salty. It is. Oh, it's so good with rice. Oh my god, the rice is amazing. I'm trying the normal spam. Actually, well, no, I'm so curious about the sauce that I made. I'm trying the mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. Just because you said it was amazing. It was amazing. Mmm. Whoa. I'm gonna need a lot of rice. Mm. It's so salty. That bread will not be copyrighted. Right? <laughs> mm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try the egg actually, because I'm curious about the egg. I have it plain first. I'm gonna actually try this with tomato sauce because she said it tastes like spam, um, sausage. Yeah, it did. Oh wow. Yeah, <laughs> just turned it into like a Frankfurt. Mmm, I know, right? Mmm. Uh, my special ability in the kitchen is to be oh, able yeah. to cook any egg. Trinity is like the best egg cooker in the world. Like just. The best egg cooker. I don't know how. <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty good. I'm gonna try it with the sauce. I think the egg is better than the spam. Try it with the spam. Oh yeah. Okay. Did you try it with the spam? I feel like this might be too salty. No, no, it's good. Yeah. Egg and spam go good together if you don't season the egg. Mmm. But you need rice because the sand's are all mm. I'm going to pick up the one you ate. Mmm. Rice and... Rice and Spam are real good together. Mayonnaise and Spam are all good together. Mm. Did you try this or that? Mm. Mm, no. I think it'll be too salty. Mmm. Is it salty? Mm-hmm. Maybe I'll go good with the egg. Mm. Some of this Korean sauce. This is Samyang with onions. Mm. My boyfriend loves this sauce. He eats this shit, man. It's by itself, yeah. yeah. Mm, strong sauce. Oh my god. So, so salty. Last week, mm. I I almost died. I had a near death experience. <laughs> Setting the mood right for us. <laughs> so what happened, sister? So she didn't believe me. I, I didn't. She didn't believe me until. It's still happening now. Yeah. So this lifts here where we live because we live in our apartment. 
So, I got in a lift and it went closed shut yet. We didn't even press anything and the lift went all the way up to the top of the apartment. And then, real fast, like double the lift speed. And then everyone was swearing in the lift. There was like three people in the lift with me. They were all swearing. And then when it reached the top, it hit the top. We could have, like, hit the top. And then it immediately went all the way down to the ground floor real fast. And everyone that was swearing just went silent. Like, they were just went silent. And I was silent. And what I experienced was, like, I accepted the fact that I was going to die. Like, and I didn't have any flash memories of my life. It was just, like... Like, my my emotions, I didn't feel angry, I didn't feel sad, I felt nothing. I felt at peace with myself. And, I don't know, you guys can call me crazy or whatever, but I, I actually felt there was an like evil presence in the lift with me. And it was so quiet that you could hear people breathe. And the lift was like really, really fast. I was like, it all happened so fast because it all happened in about seven seconds or something and I experienced so much stuff and then when I got out of the lift luckily I got out of the lift I still felt like something was like following me or like like something evil like I was gonna die because I didn't die in that lift you know like the final destination maybe and I went home and I went on my bed and I was rocking back and forth from my bed for like an hour and I told my boyfriend and he was just like, it's okay, you're still alive and he's like, but I don't feel right man I, I don't feel right and it's still happening right now like, this that lift is still doing it like, yeah like, cause um, we, we left the house for a bit and this girl came out of the elevator she's like, don't use this one, it's bad and yeah. we're like, what? <laughs> she's like, I was stuck in there for five minutes and it took me up and down and we were like Oh my god, we need to tell somebody. And she's like, yeah, I already told them. And then she just left. Like, she looked like a zombie too. I was so scared. I was like, what the fuck? And then Charity told me her story and I was just like, no, no, no. I was already telling you my story and then she came out. Oh, yeah, 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 that's I true. I was already telling yeah, you yeah, what yeah. happened Charity to me. Charity was telling me the story. I'm like, whatever. And then she came out. She's like, don't lose that elevator. I'm like, holy shit, you weren't exaggerating. And then we went to buy our stuff. Then yeah. we came back. And then... We didn't know, man. We were like... I don't know, like, we were like, hmm... Should we use the elevator? Nah. No, we didn't no, we use didn't. the elevator. Because mm. it came open, and then uh, people went in. Yeah, and we were like, do we tell, tell them? them? Or is it fixed already? Because, like, you already told yeah. them. And then we went short, and then closed. And, then and it, it was, was just stuck we there. Just went, it went it was deep, just, and it was just stuck there for five minutes. It was something. just stuck on the ground floor. Yeah. And we are like, oh, shit. I wonder if they press buttons or if they're just like, whatever. I don't know. Hopefully they're okay. Yeah. Yeah. Scary. Well, the main is good. Yeah. So what's your favorite thing here? The, the bread? I'd say, I like the eggs. The spam's not bad. Either. This is a little salty. You need rice, man. Rice is real well. Yeah. Fried rice, man. Yeah, maybe we can make some fried rice, I don't know. <laughs> Mm. But now I know what it's like to experience some near death experience. Yeah, I think that's scary. Because the way Trinity described it, it was like going on a really scary roller coaster, but knowing that you're going to die at the end of it. Yeah. That's just like fucked. But you feel, you're scared, but you feel at peace, you know? Because you already accepted the fact. That you nothing, can't do anything. There's nothing you can do. Like, that's so scary. You're just stuck in this box that's going to just crash. That's so scary. I didn't want to feel any pain. I was thinking that. I was thinking, depending on what speed you fall at, you're either going to feel low pain or none. Hopefully. Well, when I die, hopefully it's none. Yeah. <laughs> so, 
sister, are you going to take the stairs for the rest of your life now? No, I'm too lazy. <laughs> so you'd rather take the chance of being like mangled and stuff. They really should fix the elevator. I'm going to check with them again because I'm, I'm like really scared. For mommy. And, and yeah, for mum too. We like told our mum straight away, don't use this elevator. I don't know if she got the message. I, I know, she started like laughing. Minutes. She actually laughed. And I'm like, mum, I'm serious. Don't take that elevator. It's scary. It's broken. It's cursed. I'm like, okay, maybe I should have faced it better. Of course she was laughing. I called it evil. I said it's evil, mum. Don't take the elevator. <laughs> she said evil. <laughs> okay, maybe I should like, just like explain to her better. I don't think she knows she can die in the elevator. No, I think she knows. You know what I was thinking when I was in that lift? Mm. I'm like, holy shit. This is a type of story where they say, oh, they died from a lift because it broke and it slipped and it crashed. I'm like, wait, am I going to be crushed? Well, see that crazy elevator that we're talking about? It does that whole up and down thing for like five minutes every time. So that means that eventually it's going to wear out. And crash. Mm. At double the speed. So it's not even normal wear, it's like excessive wear. Mm. Scary. Mm. Okay, so we have some praise whole egg mayonnaise. I don't know why we don't have kiwi. Why do we not have kiwi? We do. We do. Fuck me. No, this mayonnaise tastes like kiwi anyway. Okay. It does. It tastes it. It actually tastes like kiwi. Cause it's actually, I think it changed the recipe. It's like more creamy for some reason. I like that creamy pasta. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty full. I actually just don't have an appetite to eat anymore. Why? Cause you're talking about your new death experience and you're like, dude, you don't understand no, how no, I feel. I understand. I feel, I feel no, scared. you actually have to be through it. Like you think, you like it's a feeling where yeah, probably you know what it feels like, but mm. to actually feel it yourself, to actually be in that situation, is more. But, mm -hmm. yeah. How about you guys? Have you had any near-death experiences that you would like to share? Because mm. I'm, I think I've lived a relatively safe life. Nothing's really happened to me. Never been to the hospital. All that shit. I've never been to the hospital either. Mm. Never broken any bones. No. Wow. Never. Like, probably the hardest, um, what, the... <laughs> oh, oh my god, I just saw something funny. The, the hardest injury I've ever had mm -hmm. is, like, you know when at night time you're moving around and you bump into a table? That's, like, the worst injury I've ever had. You yeah. know that feeling? What about your tattoo? That, that counts as an injury, right? No, it doesn't. No, really? tattoo counts as, like, it's like, if you got, it's like, if ears, you got holes ears. in yeah, your ear, yeah, yeah. holes in your ears and stuff. That's your choice. But like to get hurt unintentionally. Okay, okay. Unintentionally. Yeah. When you move like probably Yeah, at night and you bump into a sharp corner. Really? What about like falling over and scraping your knees and shit? That doesn't hurt as much as bumping into your furniture. Yes, it does. I like bled like a like as a kid, I oh my god, as a kid I just had permanent scabs on my knees. I don't know why. I fell over like okay? Huh? Are you okay? My scabs have I think, scabs. I think your body like adapted and <laughs> made your head extra <laughs> strong. So, so I wouldn't fall over. Yeah. <laughs> no, that doesn't make sense. If I had a bigger head, I'd fall over. I said stronger head. I didn't say bigger uh, head. A stronger head to protect your, your brain. <laughs> <laughs> your useless brain that, 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 that coordinates your body piece to <laughs> fall over. How do you fall over? I've, I've, I've only fallen over from running. I don't know, I fell over heaps. Okay, she's the type of child that falls over. I'm the type of child to eat a stick of butter and then <laughs> throw up afterwards because I'm... I don't know you're child at I am. <laughs> no, it's because she has, she has no self-control. Oh, I see butter. Yum, 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 yum. Yeah, you see a stick of butter in the corner. Mm. And you were shameful. I don't remember it though. I do. <laughs> you don't forget when when your sister turns around her, her face is smeared full of butter and she's got butter. She's holding it and making that noise. Was I skinny when I was eating? Yeah. Oh yeah, because I threw up a lot. Mm. Weren't you worried? No. 
I've been through this, you're alive now, it's, it's okay. But were you worried that I was gonna die or something? I was a kid, I don't know this shit. You should ask mom this stuff. She doesn't care. She'd be like, you're alive, Andrew. She doesn't know. <laughs> oh my god, there's so much grease. Mm. How's that? I don't know thing. Yeah. I want to eat some hot Cheetos. Sister, I nearly died. Give me some hot Cheetos. Give me you some hot Cheetos. If you die before me, I'll bury you in hot Cheetos, eh? I don't want to be buried in hot Cheetos. I want, I want to eat hot Cheetos. <laughs> I want to eat hot Cheetos now. No, I am the keeper of Cheetos. You don't get Cheetos. I'm just gonna sneak and into the room going and eat to, it. Like, at night, it's gonna I'm be gonna, a it's gonna be the butter scene all over again. <laughs> What's that sound? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm turning around. It's like my whole face is red. Yeah. Okay guys, that's the end of our video. Please make sure to like and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching. Bye! Bye.